Lord, you are our hope. Today, that covers everything that we could possibly need as we wake up. No matter what we're facing, to be able to say, Lord, today I'm hoping in you. There's no lack of hope. And Lord, you are safe place, hiding place, a refuge, a rock. You deliver, you protect, you lead. I want you to know that should just produce confidence in us. That should just cause our hearts to arise up that our God, he sees us. I want you to hear that. He sees you today. He even sees what you're going to be facing and what you're going to be overcoming today. So today, you don't have to figure it out. Today, you don't have to have all the answers. Today, you can just boldly come to your Father. He's good. He's trustworthy. So let's just today, let's take a moment. Let's, let's posture our heart before Him. Let's push away all the other voices and the distractions. And let's just gaze upon Him. I want you to right now just close your eyes right where you're at. And I want you to breathe in. Calm your heart. Say, today, soul, breathe in. And I want you to just say these words. Just say, Abba, I belong to you. Father, I belong to you. I'm yours, you are mine. And let's spend some time in just worshiping and ministering to the heart of God and then I'm going to come and we're going to be praying out of Ephesians 2 today. Because it's a new day And your mercies are new Every morning Every morning Your mercies are new every morning, every morning. So I just breathe. Yeah. I just breathe. Fully alive in your presence now. And I just breathe. And the weight of the world falls off my shoulder As the weight of your presence fills this room even now
memorial then the ground I'm standing on and you memorial then the wind in my lungs say that again you memorial Memorial then the ground I'm standing on. And you memorial then the wind in my lungs and thoughts to find. Your thoughts define me You're inside me You're my reality Reality Just won't let go Cause 
you came running down my prodigal road And you came running all with a ring and a roll And grace is the collision on my way back home With the arms of my father who just won't let go You came you came running down my prodigal road oh yeah you did god and you came running with a ring and a roll and grace is the collision on my way back home with the arms of a father who just won't let go no 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 you won't let you won't let go I believe that you won't let go No, you won't let go I believe that you won't let go No, no, you won't let go No, you won't let go No, you won't let go
darkness that is who you are cause you are way maker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my God that is who you are you are
That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you
let me see your beauty.
that some of you uh, may not be able to actually join in because of some technical difficulties that we have, but if for some reason you are able to join us, the good news is even when the technology that we have to get the, the prayer meeting out isn't necessarily working, our open line of communication with heaven still is. And so we're going to pray because we're, we're talking to the Father. We're coming before Him. And so to, today we're praying for walls to be broken down. Walls to be broken down. Walls that partition us away from one another and between us and God. And Ephesians chapter 2 says, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For He Himself is our peace who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace that he might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, therefore killing the hostility. So we're praying today for those walls of hostility, the walls of separation, walls that divide us, beginning with what sin does to divide us from God, but then also what sin does to divide us from one another. And if there's ever been a time right now where we need walls to be torn down, where we need a Jericho anointing to break down walls, it's today. So we're praying this, I want, if you are watching this i want you to join with us ephesians 2 open your bibles and pray with us sing with us because heaven hears he is a way maker he's a miracle worker he's a wall destroyer so father right now in the name of jesus we come in that name as those who were once afar off as those who were once divided from you kept out from your presence because of our sin and your holiness. Lord, we were those who were foreigners and strangers, no way into your presence. But Lord, you have brought us near by the blood of Jesus, and it's by the blood of Jesus we come. It's by the blood of Jesus that a new and living way has been made for us to come before you today. And Lord, we come in the power of the blood and in the name of Jesus. We declare that there is power in the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee bows, every tongue confesses. And so Lord, we bow our lives before you today. We start off today in a place of humility with our lives, our knee bowed to you, Lord Jesus. Thanking you for the blood of Jesus that was shed to make us whole. Thanking you, God. Lord, we express our thankfulness, God, our incredible, overwhelming emotions of gratitude that we know that we were once upon a time far away from you, lost and bound in our sin, but you didn't leave us there. You came and you pursued us, even when we were your enemies, even when we hated you, even when we violated your laws, even when we made decisions in your sight that were just abominable God you loved us and you sought us and you redeemed us what an amazing Savior you are Jesus glorious God mighty Savior wonderful Redeemer Lord we put our eyes on you today Jesus wonderful beautiful Savior and we thank you for the blood of Jesus that's made a new and living way. Thank you for the cross. Come on, let's thank him. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your blood.
the name of Jesus. Lord, we come dancing into your presence with the name above all names on our tongues today. The name of the Son of God, the beautiful Savior, the one who went to the cross for the joy that was set before him. He endured the punishment and the shame of the cross for our benefit. Lord, our heart is overflowing with gratitude today, Lord. Just in awe, speechless, that you would love us like that. And we come in that name. We don't come in our own name. We don't come in our own authority today. And as we're asking you to move, God, as we're asking you to move in our lives, we're not asking it in our own strength, Lord. We know that in and of our own strength, in our own name, we don't have the power on our signature to see those things that we need come to pass, but we know that in the name of Jesus, all things are possible. We know that the name of Jesus makes the gates of hell tremble. It causes demons to flee. We know that in the name of Jesus, sickness and disease is vanquished. We know that in the name of Jesus, everything that sin has brought to pass is reversed and blessed in the name of Jesus. And it's in that name that we come and we declare together that you, Jesus, are our peace. You're the wall destroyer, God. Lord, there was no wall that sin could build that you did not knock down. Lord, you are our peace. We don't have peace with the Father because we somehow have earned it. We can't make peace with in ourselves by our own initiative. But Lord, you are our peace. Jesus, you told the disciples, I'm giving you my peace. My peace I give to you. So Lord Jesus, let your presence come with peace this morning. Let your presence come and let the peace of God rule and reign in our lives, in our homes, in our cities. Jesus, your peace is not something that you just give and walk away. Your peace comes with your presence. You are our peace. You stepped into the room where your disciples were after your resurrection and you said, peace. You stood up in the hull of the boat and you looked at the storm and you said, peace. So Lord, today, would you stand up in our lives? Lord, would your presence arise in our lives and be our peace? Let the awareness of your presence be our peace. Jesus, you are our peacemaker. We surrender to you. Absolute, unconditional surrender. We wave the white flag. We surrender. We say, Jesus, you are our peace today. Whatever battle is raging around us or within us, we just speak the name of Jesus right now. Come on, wherever you're at, you speak the name of Jesus and receive the peace of God. Tell him right now, just say, Jesus, you are my peace. You are my peace. Jesus, step into this room. Bring us peace, Jesus. Step into this room and bring your peace. Peace, Jesus. Step into this room and bring your peace. Bring your peace, Jesus. Your step presence. into this room and bring your peace. We sing, Jesus. Step into this room. You are our peace. And bring your Jesus, step into this room and bring your peace. Bring your peace. Jesus, step into this room and bring your peace. We say, Jesus, step into this room and bring your peace. Walk through our walls. Jesus, step into this room and bring your peace. Shalom. Jesus, step into this room and bring your peace. Bring your peace. Jesus, step into this room. 
Your presence is our peace, God. Walk through the walls of our life right now, the walls that we've erected to protect ourselves. Lord, the walls that we've allowed to be built through bitterness and disappointment, the walls that fear has built, the walls of prejudice, the walls that have separated brother from brother, the walls of our own making that we've hid behind trying to keep you out till we fixed all the things in our lives. Lord Jesus, you're the one who walks through walls. Walk through the walls of our life and step into our lives. Bring your peace right now. Just speak peace over our cities right now. Lord, I just speak over the 150 cities in America right now that are experiencing riots. On one side of the protests and the riots, there's fear, there's anger, there's frustration, there's injustice. And on the other side of the wall, there's fear, there's anger. And Lord, I'm saying, would you step into the middle where the wall is and would you just tear it down? Tear it down, God. Bring justice, but bring peace. Bring answers, Lord. Bring reconciliation right now. And be the one who comes and tears the wall down. Let it be in our cities right now that peace would be spoken. Not just to quell and go back to the way things were, but Lord, would you bring real peace? Lord, would you bring real reconciliation? Lord, would you bring your presence to incubate over our cities? In Genesis chapter 1, it said, In the middle of darkness and chaos, the Spirit of the living God was hovering over the deep. He was hovering over the darkness. He was incubating. Holy Spirit, you were incubating over the darkness and calling out the light, calling out order, calling out truth, calling out the will of God when he said, Let there be light, and there was. And we speak right now and we say, Holy Spirit, incubate over our cities. Incubate over the unrest of our nation right now. That is darkness, that is chaos, that is void. And would you begin to bring about the Word of God, bring it to pass. We say, let there be light. Lord, let there be truth right now. Let there be the will of God over our cities. Lord, let justice roll. Let unity rise up between brothers and brothers, between black and white, between brown and white, between all the races. Lord, let there be unity in Jesus. You are our peace, God. Lord, there's no other hope for us. We need you. You are our reconciliation. You are the one who comes. And in you, Jesus, walls are torn down. We're praying across America right now that you would begin to demonstrate what racial reconciliation and what true justice looks like through the body of Christ. You've already torn down the walls in our life, Lord. Tear them down in our cities right now in the name of Jesus.
this as you tore down the dividing wall of hostility. And Lord, I'm praying right now that you would tear down the wall of hostility between law enforcement and the African-American community and the minority communities. Lord, let there be reconciliation there. Lord, let police officers rise up in truth and in justice and demonstrate love. Let there be forgiveness. Lord, let there be healing. Do a miracle in our day where it seems like there's an impenetrable wall. Let there be softness in our hearts towards one another. Let there be softness in our hearts towards one another. Let there be grace. Your word says in Isaiah chapter two, or Isaiah chapter one, it says, come and let us reason together. Come and let us reason together. Lord, I'm praying that you would set a table in the middle of every major city. Lord, that you would prepare a table in our nation for brothers and for sisters and for black and for white and for people that have found themselves on opposite sides of the walls to come and to sit down at the table and to reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Lord, wash away all the blood. Lord, wash away all the filth. Wash away all the hate. Wash away all the anger and the frustration and bring reason, bring unity, bring a conversation to pass that you would tear down what has become a wall of hostility and bring unity in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is a spiritual battle principalities and powers that love to see destruction. They love to see division, but Jesus, you came to bring unity. You came to bring healing. Jesus, you are our peace. Tear down the dividing walls of hostility and let there be reasoning. Let there be unity. Let there be peace, God. Let there be justice. Amos 5 says, let justice roll like a river down upon our cities, down upon the streets that we live in. Lord, not justice like one side says, this is justice. Not man's justice. Let it be heaven's justice. Let it be God's justice. Lord, come down. Rend the heavens and come down and bring your peace in Jesus' name. You are the answer. You are the answer to this generation. Lord, you are the answer to what's wrong in the world. So we look to you. We look to the cross. When we look at the cross, we see sacrifice. When we look to the cross, we see humility. When we look to the cross, we see love. Philippians 2 says that he took upon himself the form of a bondservant, and he came in the likeness of men. And he was obedient even to the point of death upon the cross. Jesus, when we look to the cross, we see our way forward. We lay down our rights. Lord, we declare that in our nation and in the, this generation, it doesn't matter what nation we find ourselves on the face of the earth, 
The only answer is found in the cross. The only reconciliation we have to God is through Jesus. It's through the blood that was shed. But your intentions are to take everything that has been divided and bring it all together in Christ Jesus. To reconcile all things in heaven and in earth through the blood of Jesus. So Holy Spirit, we ask you come. Holy Spirit, come. Come to your church. Come to leaders all over America right now. Lord, I'm praying for the President of the United States. Lord, I'm praying for governors in every state of the union. Lord, I'm asking that our leaders would stop being children and they would rise up to be leaders. I'm, I'm praying, that, Lord, they would set aside their petty politics and their issues of photo ops and platforms and that there would be a humility in them that was found in Jesus. And I'm praying that leaders would say, come and let us reason together. I'm praying that mayors over every city and spiritual leaders across America would put aside childish things and would come in a spirit of humility to listen, to understand, and to reason together. And in the middle of it all, Holy Spirit, you would show up. Holy Spirit, show up in every cabinet room. Show up in the White House. Show up in the Senate and in the Congress and in the House of Representatives. Holy Spirit, show up in the halls of justice across America. Lord, show up in the black communities. Show up in the predominantly white suburbs. Show up in the Hispanic areas, Lord. Show up in every aspect of our society. Spirit of the living God, where the sin abounds, grace does much more abound. And we're saying, Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, come. We need you. Holy Spirit, come and make us one. Bring peace and find, Lord, help us to find our answers through the example of the cross. Jesus, you are our only hope, but you are our hope. Hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been shed abroad by the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Hope arise right now. In the people of God all over this nation, let hope arise. Jesus, you are our hope. Hope arise right now. Let vision arise of one new man. Let hope arise. Let vision for what the church should be, what it will be, what it must be, arise in the hearts of your people right now, we pray in Jesus' name. Today. We believe that hope is rising. God is moving. You know, it was the first day that God said that let there be light. He spoke it out of darkness. And when we see the darkness covering the face of the earth, get ready because God's about to speak, let there be light. So we're looking for the day. We're looking for the dawn of hope. Believing God's tearing down walls. 
And we're praying that God's going to use you to be a peacemaker. God's going to use you to be an intercessor and a flag bearer of the, of the cross of Jesus Christ. Listen, we're sorry about the te technical difficulties, but I know that God has heard us today. We look forward to you joining us tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. for morning prayer. So we'll see you then. God bless you.